So, you mean you went through all this just to see a lady? Grandma, what will I do? I don't know how else to go about this since I had no information about her. See, let me tell you the truth. This is what most young men went through just to see a lady. But they won't just say it. <laughs> oh, children of nowadays. <laughs> You say her name is? Her name is Nebechi. Nebechi Be Okwe. Hmm. Grandma, is everything okay? Yes. Everything is okay. She's a pretty girl. And I know her family very well. Hmm? Hello, pretty. Hi, ugly. Am I ugly? Your mirror will be the judge. How was your day? My day was a bit busy since I dropped you off. Busy thinking about me, I guess. Why would you say that? Because it is obvious you like me a lot. Don't you? Mm, I liked you before. I used to like you, Dawn, but right now, I'm in love with you. <laughs> so when is the wedding? What? What wedding? My parents. What kind of human being are you? You're mouth, eh? <laughs> well, you will get to find out soon. You know what? I just, I just like you. Your sense of humor. What a big sarcasm in it. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Why won't you? Why you want to give me a baby? So how are you? You understand? Okay, so you don't want to come in. You know, you know the reason. Hmm? Okay, oh, but it does not still affect anything. Okay, okay. Till then. You're very stubborn. Why? Why are you so stubborn? I know. <laughs> bye bye. No problem. I'll call you, okay? Uh, just like that? You just want to leave like that? You just want to leave like that? Ah, oh, come on. Shakara. Shakara. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. I'll call you, okay? Call me, oh. Yeah, I will. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, hello boss. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not there. Will it be possible tomorrow? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll call you once I get there, sir. Yes, boss. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Babe. It's, it's my boss, and it's very important that I go there. Another excuse for you not to come to my house. No, don't say that, okay? See, it's very important I go there. It's a very, very, very important thing I'll be there. It's fine. I'm not important. It's fine. You can go to your boss. See, babe, I promise to make it up to you, okay? Trust me. That is what I hear every day. I will make it up to you. When will you ever stop this? I will make it up to you. And do you know what? Just drop me at that junction. Drop me here. I will find my way home. That's fine. Baby, you need to calm down, right? You are very important to me. You should know this. My son, you are welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Uh, I really appreciate your coming. But you should have at least informed us of your coming so that we prepare for you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, you're right, actually. But I wanted to take your beautiful daughter to somewhere. Yes, this is just an informal visit. I am going to do it formally and declare my intentions towards your beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> my son, that was very thoughtful of you. It's only responsible men think that direction. Mm? I can see you are very responsible. And you are welcome once again. Mm? Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you. My son, you're welcome to our house. You're welcome. My daughter here has already told me much about you. And I'm glad to finally meet you. <laughs> you're welcome, eh? Okay. Thank you, ma. My son, something is missing here. Okay. Yes, you have not told us where you come from. Yes. Mm. I'm from Okwara Kingdom. Actually, this is my maternal home. Yes, my mother is from here. And I'm a grandson of Mama P. In other words, we have the prince in our house. Hey. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, the prince. What are you doing? You're welcome. Hey. Thank you, ma'am. I never knew that late uh, Adure, the daughter of uh, uh, Peace, had a grown-up son like you. This is surprising. Mm -hmm. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Thank you. That's Madam Peace's grandson. Why are they calling him a prince? A majesty. No, 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 no. My mother must hear of this one. I must tell my mom. Oh, oh, oh. You're welcome. Oh, nice to meet you. Good day. You're welcome, man. Eh? You. You're welcome. You have a very beautiful daughter here. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know your luck is just that you told me you are royalty before coming to the house. If not, I would not have had it lightly with you at all, oh. Granny told me that your father and your stepmother are both aware that my mother got married to the king of Okora Kingdom. You know, I had to tell you before you fight me. Great. So you mean I'm a troublemaker? Ah, obviously you are. Seriously, yes. <laughs> anyway, I've been wanting to ask you this. Where did you get this color from? Because both your parents are fair in complexion people ask me this question a lot too anyway my mother said her father is actually dark yeah. and then my mother's uncle is very very dark in fact that one is like charcoal we hmm? should be around the age of madam peace oh that's, the... anyway, that's nice i like your color though i don't even like fair people at all mm. mm -hmm. 
So you fell in love with me because of my skin tone, okay? You know you have bad mouths. Both your parents are good people and they talk well, they talk wonderfully. But I don't know where you get this your bad mouth from. From where? Chilukwa. That's it, I call now we're bad mouths. Seriously, on a joker. Eh? On again. Hey! But in a good way though. Who is smiling with you? <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Okay, I'm just joking because I don't want to trouble now. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. Yes. Mommy, pizza. Pizza. Yes. Spell pizza. Hey. P e e pizza. Pizza. <laughs> okay. Hey. Done. Deal. I'm going to even get two for you. Hey. Mm -hmm. I go <laughs> Oh, you're a bad mouth, eh? Okay, sorry now, sorry. Is a grandson to Mother Peace. Yes, Mama. He even said that himself. Mama. Is he a prince? Yes. The mother was married to the king of Opera Kingdom. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Mama, it is unbelievable. It is. This is not right. Bam. Hmm? Hmm. Jean, we managed to buy over Madame Peace and now her grandson. <laughs> that means we have lost completely. Yes. It won't work. But wait, to. I have not seen this boy in this village. How did they manage to find out about him? Mama, you have a point fair. I mean, there must be up to something. We need to do something very fast also. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the reason for the glow on our face ever since they came here. I know. I know exactly what your plans are. It won't work. Never. Mama, it will not work. It will not work. We have to do something. You have to do something. Mama, I cannot completely lose. Amaka, do not worry yourself. Calm down. Sit down. Yes. I know what to do. I know how to handle them. I will couple them. Don't worry. I'm your mother, okay? I gave back to you. So forget it. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, my car just broke down now. Huh? 
Uh, I'm at the primary school road. Okay, Grand. Okay, thank you. Chiba is calling me. What is keeping you now? It's been about 30 minutes you said you were coming. Yeah, my car just broke down. I'm on the road. Uh -uh. What happened? I wouldn't know. But a mechanic is coming to fix it. Eh. Hey. So where? Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm on the road that we met. Okay. I'll be there right away. It's alright. Uh, people say that it's teaching time since now. That's the reason I've come to see you. To remind you of the crown prince presenting a bride before the next offer. You see, the, the, the cabinet chiefs have met and they sent me to remind you that the crown prince have just two weeks to present a bride to the royal council as the tradition demands. Oh no. You spoke well. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, conversant with all you said. However, I would like to make a rare request. What could that be? Could you please help to shift the dates a little bit, say for a fortnight? Your Majesty, you know that what you are asking for is quite difficult. This is a secured right that is duly and timely uh, performed. You see, the Crown Prince that fails to, to present a bride on the due date definitely is unprepared to rule. And that disqualifies him from ascending the throne. Well, however, he can contest the crown. But you and I know that that is also a mission impossible. You know all this, the Majesty. I know, I know. And that is why I am making this rare request. That is why I'm looking for a way for us to extend the date. The truth of the matter is that my son has not even found himself a girl that he can marry. As a matter of fact, he's not even dating any girl as we speak. You see my predicament? I'm very sorry. This is not really good at all. It is really unfortunate that it is not good for a crowned prince not to have a bride before the due date. He had all the time to himself. It's not as if he was under duress. So why?
So this is what I would have gotten myself into. God forbid. I'd rather remain single than marrying a girl born out of incest. Never. My father would have seen a reason to back up his stance concerning picking a bride for me. Thank God I escaped this bump. What in God's name is going on? What did that evil woman tell him that's making him ignore me? He couldn't even look at my face. And now he's not taking my calls? What did she tell him? But he could have at least talked to me about it. What are you doing out here all alone by this time of the night? I've been looking for you everywhere. Nebechi! Nebechi! What is it? Why are you crying? standing here for over 30 seconds and you didn't notice me. Oh, really? Yes. Just you were thinking deeply. What's bothering you? What's on your mind, son? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Trust me, I I'm good. Nothing to worry about. Yes. Nothing. You're fine. And yet, you're here at this time of the night in deep talks. Grandma, if it's something so serious, uh, I will tell you. Yeah, I will tell you, but it's nothing to worry about, so I'm fine. Anthony, you're lying and you know it. Hmm? If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Whenever you're ready to talk, I'll be available. But for now, please, go in. It's late in the night. I'm right behind you, Grandma. Fine. So you mean you actually saw her discussing with Prince Anthony? Huh. And they both left. Immediately they saw me. What would she have told him? I wouldn't know. Whatever it is, he should have at least talked it over with me. They're keeping me in the dark. Ngozi is at it again. Ngozi. Ngozi, what do you really want to achieve with all this? Huh? My daughter, I suggest you pay him a visit. Please. Huh? Are you sure he will give me audience? Because he's not even taking my calls. Because I have been calling and calling and calling him. And he's not taking my calls. You wouldn't know until you try. Huh? That woman is evil. She must have said so many ugly things about you to spoil his mind. Yes! But you need to set things right. And you wouldn't do that 
standing and crying here. You need to visit him. Please, my daughter. Huh? You need to visit him. Oh, you know, go now. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Stop crying. Stop crying. You know? But that's a lie. It's not true. Tell me. Tell me that you're not aware that the man you're living with is not your father. No, tell me. Kahina Kako. The man I am living with is my father, of course. It's Chaibi. You're such a blood and liar. Yes. What baffles me is that you knowing all these things without doing anything. That means you're not better than your mother. Stop. Stop. Just stop it already, please. That woman has always hated my mother and I. And that's why she lied to you. The hatred made her to expose what could have been a calamity to me and the entire Okora family. So go and sort yourself out with your mother and your uncle and let me be. This is not fair. Chicken, is, is it fair? The situation you and your mother are putting me into is what is not fair. Do you understand? Right now, leave this place before I push you out. I'll call the game back to throw you away. Leave now. It's me. No problem. Frog Kangaroo. I saw Nebechi crying. What happened? Crocodile tears. What? Now talk to me. What happened? Fighting cannot serve this situation. If not now. Quarreling cannot serve this situation. If not It's only love. If only love If you know It's only love If you do it Only love If you But keep your distance They will always try to make it feel like it's only your fault. Oh. 